What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your host with the most, C.J. Robinson Jr., the show. <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel, guys. And today, we are going to discuss Neo, R&B singer Neo. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, hit that notification bell button, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel for more video content. Let's get started. First and foremost, um, let me say this, okay? Neo, I just read it in the article on the news report. Neo may wind up getting canceled for this, y'all. He said precisely that I think it's fucked up for people to want to cancel R. Kelly. Now, a part of me does agree with that. A part of me doesn't agree with it. But we're not going to get into my opinion on that part of why I don't agree with it because I already explained myself about R. Kelly's situation from my standpoint. So, now, what do y'all think? Do y'all do y'all think that Neo will actually get canceled for making this statement? I didn't read the full article, so I'm going to make this video a little short. Now, drop the comments below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think Neo is right about calling it bullshit for people to cancel R. Kelly and his music? Because let's face it, his music will forever live on, regardless of his fans turning their backs on him. I mean, a part of me says that they had a right to. A part of me turned my back on him as well as the other fans. I grew up listening to the man music. We can't deny the fact that R. Kelly made music, good music, music for the soul, music for the club, music to make you feel relaxed, music for love making. We can't ignore the fact that R. Kelly will always be, forever be, the king of R&B, because he is. Yes, he fucked up. He fucked his own legacy up. We already know this. When he first married Aaliyah, she was 15, and he was, what, 25, I believe. And I said this in one of my other videos when I was talking about R. Kelly. He, the, not him, but the mother, Aaliyah's mother, rest in peace to Aaliyah. Very beautiful woman. She died too soon, man. The mother, her mother needs to be held accountable for this. Why isn't anybody even recognizing the fact that Aaliyah's mother forced her daughter to marry this grown ass nigga in the first place? Back in 90, what was it, 93, 94? Come on, come on, y'all. Think about it. If Aaliyah was alive today, she would be 42 years old because me and Aaliyah, she, she would have been the same age as me. I said it like that. She would have been 42 years older than that. But if y'all think about it, man, it's sad. It's sad because she died. She died. For nothing. There are certain YouTubers, bigger platformers, discussing the fact that there are conspiracies about her death. Conspiracies, excuse me, about her death. And I don't recall the Aaliyah's family, mom and dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, whatever, especially a goddamn uncle, Barry Hankerson. I don't recall none of them trying to sue <laughs> the the airport, or I, I would say the airport. I would say, yeah, the airport. I say the airport. Ha Why hasn't nobody sued the airport? Not long after Leah passed away, but anyway, Neo doesn't agree to the fans or the fan base stating that it's bullshit for people to cancel R. Kelly. That is the moral story of this video, basically. But that being said, man, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel, 
hit that post notification bell button for more video content. Drop your comments below. Give me y'all opinions. Let me know what y'all think. Everybody is always entitled to their own opinions. I'm not the one to judge, and nobody else should judge anybody else's opinion. But that being said, more videos to come. New phone, so I'm back in the act, y'all. CJ signing.